Well, greetings everyone and uh, welcome back. This is the Bremas tribe and oh my gosh, I do love that music. I must say this is one of my probably one of my favorite things in this game so far as I, I really think they got the soundtrack down spot on. The way the music just types and jumps up, uh, it really, really sits well with me. Whenever I fire this up, it makes me feel a warm kindling feeling inside. Uh, but enough uh, rambling on, I must apologize uh, for the audio issues on the last episodes. For those of you who've been watching, I've been having a little bit of an issue with the uh, YouTube's compression algorithm, but uh, hopefully that will be sorted out. If you're still hearing odd sound drops, please let me know in the comments below. I appreciate those of you who've pointed this out to me so far. So as you can see behind me, the uh, Bremas tribe are thriving and surviving fairly well. Uh, I can't remember how many years. I think we're on our almost on our tenth year now. We've undertaken a really, really, really tough project, uh, building a huge system of miniers, which is going to take up a lot of stone. And I think that's actually kind of what's holding us back at the moment is that everyone's kind of searching for stone. Um, but as you can see, uh, the tribe has built itself a fairly nice sort of little uh, enclosure here. We've got. Uh, six huts out the back and and three here on this uh, more more sort of closer area over here i'm actually going to get rid of the camera now so you can see things properly um and uh, everyone does have houses um but i'd kind of like to uh get more people into the tribe at some stage we, we kind of have to grow so i was kind of looking at our uh in fact let's just zoom out here quickly looking at the layout of our sort of town here so we've got kind of a a production storage area over here, uh, another storage production area here that's sort of more food dedicated. Uh, there's more food over here as well. And then there's these two sort of living areas over here. I'm kind of inclined to add an additional area out the back here. Um, I like the idea of this expanding significantly. We've got our one religious, uh, we've got our first mini over here. This is our, our very much our. Uh, uh, original little, uh, yeah, original little worship area here with the wooden poles around it looking very cool. Um, and then if we fly over here, we can kind of see where we're starting to erect another Minya stone circle over here. That's going to be some huge religion, religion boosts there. Um, so yeah, we've got this all this space out over here. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the idea of expanding this way, um, behind this rock, maybe. Um, I kind of see the see the village expanding, yeah, very much this way uh, into the grassland here. Perhaps out the back here is too. Maybe we can ex expand the the production areas here. That could be that could be quite cool. We can move these out the back here. Maybe put more more of the food over on this side. We seem to be doing pretty well though. We seem to be pretty well. Let's actually just bring up our our resources here so we can have a look quickly. Uh, so food, we seem to be doing all right on food. I mean, look how much fish we have. Uh, it is a ridiculous amount of fish. And I think part of the reason why is, is because we now, uh, fishing with bone harpoons, uh, which is really helping. And look at the amount of leather we have, 72 bits of leather. That is ridiculous. If we migrated now, uh, it would be so easy, uh, to move. You would just take a whole bunch of this with us. Although having said that, there are 48 people in the tribe at the moment, uh, which is quite a lot. Um, let's have a look at our work groups here quickly. Um, so we've got craftsmen, we've got fishermen, perhaps a few a few too many fishermen. We could actually lower that to four, um, which will help. And we get some more in hunters. What's the problem here with hunters? Okay, boar. Maybe we should stop hunting boar for now. Um, just so we don't completely uh outstrip it's um strip the population there um do we have where are the food gatherers we've got six there so yeah we changed some policies so we're, we're slap bang in the middle of the policies here so um doing doing some looking at some other other videos and kind of now some experience um and thank you lily uh, if you're watching for your your insights here um, this here seems to be the optimum level in the labor age. Uh, if you put it too high, then the old people work too long into their life and they get tired, they lose strength. Um, and if you start it too early, which is also what happens if you, you, you scribbed out this age, so they work, start working younger and start, stop working later. Um, the kids 
don't get enough time to build up strength and uh, it affects them later on um so yeah impacting the work groups we really need to keep an eye on that um gonna look at our tribe members you can see all the old guys uh, we, we're reaching some significant ages here i mean rona here is 72 years old and it looks like sune uh, our current tribe leader is 68 he's not doing anything he he is just chilling here where, where is he there he is let's go let's go check him check him out as he he chills by the fire uh, relating, regaling the tribe with the tales of his youth, uh, teaching them skills and tricks uh, around these fires. So, let's um, let's uh, let's go have a look. So, this is in need of stone. Um, are there any stone piles close by that we can find? There's one uh, that we could perhaps get the tribe to help. Uh, this is a clear. Zone, yes. Can we go pick up these, please? Yes. Pick those up, please. Let's just put K on so we can see. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pick that up. Let's get that stone up there. Uh, what we're doing is we're trying to earmark places for them to come gather some stone. There's some over here. We're gonna need the stone. Pick that up. And if you do a little circle in the middle, you just do the stone pick up. I've realized. So let's pick up the stone, guys. Um there and there's some over here as well um the stone is is is, is actually really important if we want to if we want to complete there's so much stone here actually and uh, maybe what we should do um is we should go to our groups where's our stone gatherers straw sticks gatherers raw gatherers are you gathering stone there's no one working in this group that is ridiculous oh that's fine raw stone okay um do we have Wheat gatherers, gatherers. No, so you're doing wheat. No, we don't need you doing much. Uh, gatherers, you doing stone. Okay. Let's actually change these here. Stone. Stone gatherers. Um, and let's put... I want to put an extra person on there. How old are you? 12. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's fine. You, you should be... As far as I'm concerned, as soon as you can walk, you should have a task. That's kind of what I think. Don't be lazy. All right, let's speed things up quickly. Let's get that music going. Doom, 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 doom. Let's get that drum beat picking up. All right, so what we want to do is we want to we want to get a lot more of that stone in. Um, we currently do not have any in here. Do you know what we should do is maybe what we should do is we should... Uh, where's our resources here? Let's go buildings, uh, storage. Let's put a... Uh, I want to be able to build one of these. I want to build one of these clay containers. Wood planks. <gasps> oh, let's... um. Let's see, what happens if we do, like, a, a thing there? <laughs> um, and then we go, you're actually just going to put stone in here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Stone, 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 stone. All right, let's just, uh, oh, it's gone dark. Okay, let's go back home. Everyone around the fire? Good. Everything good here? How are we doing on logs? We're doing good dried meat we're really doing good on the food I, I i struggled in the beginning to 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 balance the food out but it looks like uh oh we can now create a set of pots we can now create altars and obi has died after a long life oh dear where's where's obi okay so we can create pots let's have a look at that now pots 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 maybe that's in storage is it in production uh, no 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 there's all these other things. There's ovens and mills and lumber mills. <gasps> That's the lumber mill. That's how we get the... Uh, we need a little bit of woodwork skills and some... Um, oh, no, we have woodwork skills. We need the Atlantic Neolithic influence. We need, we need, we need more people to come to our tribe, basically. Um, right, storage. Where were we? Uh, what can we do? What was it again? Uh, altars. So it would be... Oh, palisades. Uh, right, an altar. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the amount of raw stone you need for that one. Goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me. Um, we can do pots. Is this pots? Set of pots, right? Mud, 10. Right, yes. Okay, so this is just decorations. Uh, I'm always going to play with decorations. Um, should we put some pots around by the fire? Um, I like the idea of putting pots by the fire. Let's put some pots there. Um, how about we put some pots? Pots, in the co oh, pots can't go there. Pots can go here. Pots? Uh, it's just mud. How much mud do we have? Three. No, we need more mud then, don't we? Uh, um, I kind of like the idea of doing pots all over the place. Uh, let's do some pots over there. 
That's okay. All right. I don't know what those do. What does this do? What does this give us? It doesn't give us. It's just decorations. But I wish the decorations actually gave us something. Um, that could be kind of cool. Um, we've got this here, a hay feeder. We don't have anything to feed yet. A feeder. We don't have anything to feed yet. We don't have any livestock, so we don't need those. Um, we kind of want to just build them for the sake of building them. Um, and I'd really like to get to this roundhouse. That could be really cool. Once we get to roundhouses, then we're like really starting to like solidly settle, you know? Uh, solidly, solidly settle. Let's have a look here. If you're hungry, uh, if you complain of overwork, we're fixing that. But we got a mostly, mostly happy tribe. So come on, let's speed this up, guys. Come on, you, you gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta work if you want to. You know, you gotta work for your, 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 your living, your livelihood. Uh, you can't, you can't complain about overwork all the time. What is this? This, this isn't the chill. This isn't, you know, this is. We're building a capitalist society here. Um, are those nuts? Is there not enough space in here for, for nuts? This is nuts. Oh, this is full. Okay, we might actually have to build another pit. Because we can only fit 150 nuts in here. We've got 188. Um, yeah, I think we might we might actually need to build um some more um what's our food gatherers, right? Yeah, you 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 have got storage. Uh, you got all these pots, right? Good. Let's add in um, some more pits for you um, because you're running out of space. Um, I think we could do, I kind of think we could fit in, do you think we could fit in some here? Do you think it'll look too cluttered? Kind of worried about it being a bit too cluttered. I kind of like how sort of simplistic and open this is here. Um, can't fit in there, there's not enough space in between. Um, all right, maybe what we should do is we should build additional storage down here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build the additional storage down here by the trees. All right. Um, okay. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Uh, I'm going to do a slight, a slight, oh, uh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, there you go. Okay, now we're, now we're on it. Boom. And... Uh, oh, I want to get another one in over there. Let's get a third one in, shall we? Might as well. Okay, so we got those in. All right. Let's speed it up, guys. Come on. Let's speed it up. Let's collect that stone. Collect that stone. Uh, in fact, actually, let's have a look at the... Where's our policies again? Communal tasks. Let's, uh... Let's drive this up to more communal tasks. Focus on the communal task, guys. Go and go and fetch some stone. We're 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 after building uh we're after building ourselves that 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 giant religious artifact of ours, and then we need more stone for an altar, which we're gonna put right in the middle. Um, right, let's actually go down here and actually have a look. How much stone do we actually need for this? Have a look here. So we need ten thousand stone per thing. Uh, or a thousand stone per thing. We got 280 on that one. Um, so this one needs, yeah, each one needs a thousand. So we're going in a slow circle. It's going to be a while until um, we get all of that. So it's Rona died after old age. Um, that actually reminds me, do we have enough graves? Maybe we should be turning this into a grave site down here. Let's actually go. Where's the tribe? Here's the tribe. Religion. Religion, religion. Let's do some uh, normal grave sites, shall we? Um, just so that there's space for the dead. Uh, let's do, do four over here. Four. Okay. I I'm worried that uh, we, we did have some grave sites out here. There are here. There's two over here. But it looks like a few people died recently. Um, we need some more space for them, and this this feels like a good spot over here, close to the religion, etc. Um, yeah, look at that. I like these out the front here as well. Yes, this town's looking good. This town's looking really good, and we've got some of those guys constructing these pits here, which will be overflow um, for some of our resources here. I think mainly the nuts, the hazelnuts. How many fish can we fit in a basket? Uh, oh, that's the grains. Oh, that's more fish. Okay, so we've got definitely enough space for fish. Okay, all right. Our, our fish is, is being stored. Oh my goodness, are you being repaired? Okay, good. They're repairing that. That's fine. That's fine. 
Uh, we need to we need to focus on the repairs. We also need to make sure we have enough reeds because these guys are going to need these guys are going to need a, a, a reed repair sooner rather than later too. Uh, it's a thing that needs to happen. Uh, right, all looking very good. Speed up, come on. Can we? It's even good for. Eh, yeah, that's speeding it up. Right, so a pitch is ready to use. That should be one of these down here. Let's go have a look. Which one are, are you ready to use? You. So let's overflow you to nuts. Yeah, there you go. Overflow that one for nuts. Rona is an adult. Great. So this pit here is also ready to use. Oh, wait, this one here. Uh, what are we going to overflow you for? We don't really have any overflow too much right now. Um, we could just leave you empty until we have something more that we need to overflow on. Um, yep, yep, we're just going to do that. I love the fact that we have like 130 plant fiber. Where are our groups? Where's our plant fiber? Fiber, fiber gatherers. Where are the fiber gatherers? Okay, there's two of them here. Uh, no, there's no one now. Let's drop that to zero. Um, fish is four. Food gatherers, six. Let's just drop that to four as well. I want to get some of the workforce spread out uh, raw. You guys are going to get a couple more people in here, don't you? Uh, stone gatherers, gatherers, reed gatherers, stick gatherers, wood choppers, craftsmen. Uh, why are so many of you just idle? And just like doing absolutely nothing. Oh, you're too young. Okay. Maybe we do need more people uh, in the uh, tribe here. Uh, Rona's dead. Where's Rona? Is Rona lying on the ground? Rona's lying on the ground. Someone move Rona. Someone move Rona. Wait. Maybe they don't. We gotta dig. There you go. They dig these pits here. Someone's gonna go bury Rona. Come bury Rona. Rona, someone bury Rona. Is this Rona? Who's in this one here? I don't know. Oh yeah, Rona's been Rona's been buried. Okay, cool. Rona's been buried. Good, good. Rona's been buried there. That's nice. Okay. I was bummed she was gonna be just lying around on the ground. Dead. This Lieber there to rot. I feel like that's not, not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Um so really it's all about the stone right now. Um really it's all about the stone. So we've got to get these up here. Oh crikey, look at that tree came down. Yeah, would have preferred a better tree falling animation. It's the first time I've seen that. Tree just sort of shrinks into the ground. Uh, it would be nice if it, uh, if it did something else. Uh, right, let's just uh, zoom out here like this and just position ourselves here because we've got the view of the, the the construction out there in the background and let's just kill the uh, kill the the the. The UI here a bit, and uh, let's just do what this game does best, and I'll see you in a few moments uh, after a bit of a time lapse. Well, everyone, it's been another couple of months. It's been six months, and unfortunately, we've got sad news. It looks like Sune, our tribal leader, has died. Here he is by the fire. He just collapsed. He's dead. Unfortunately, we lost our tribal leader. No one has gone to bury him yet, which is uh, kind of sad. And I'm saying, you just walked over him. Oh, wait. Yep, there he's picked him up. There he goes. Okay, so Sune is going to go get buried now. Let's, uh... It's, hang on, wait, you, uh, yeah, let's just follow you. There you go. Um, so we're gonna go get buried now. This guy's taking Sune to get buried. Now this is a, this, this happens in the tribe. Now one of the things that I've realized, uh, one of the cool mechanics of this game is, is that you've got policies. So you can, you can, uh, set, you know, working hours, rations, uh, sort of working ages within the group. What actually happens is, is that the tribe leader, can override or limit uh, your actions. Oh, look, he's getting a nice stone grave. Oh, important. Okay, he's an important man. Oh, there's a prayer here going up there as he was buried. So, yeah, let's just, uh, we'll camp out here by Sune's grave. So, what that really allows us to, and I'm actually going to bring up the UI here quickly. So, what that did was is that Sune is dead now. 
Um, and our new tribe leader is Hero. Hero is our new tribe leader. And what the hero does is that you can see here, Hero won't let us set labor time over that mark there. So he won't let us go to the extreme ends of things. Now, one of the things that uh, Sune, our old tribe leader, did is he was restricting our labor age. So we weren't able to move this... Uh, any further up than that and uh, that impacted for a period of time while we were gathering rocks there it impacted the amount of fish that we could bring in because we just weren't staffing all of our groups here. and like you see our hunters here they are suffering uh come on hunt some pigs as well right let's get some hunters onto this where where why are there no why are there no hunters where's the knowledge here hunting come on we we have great hunting knowledge in this in this uh in this tribe where are the hunters where are the hunters? Um, okay, we've got raw gatherers, um, straw gatherers. Okay, let's take the straw gatherers down. I think we can take that down three. Uh, stick gatherers. Okay, actually, you know what? We take the stick gatherers. How much straw have we got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that to two. Um, reed. I want to take... How much have we got in reed? 47. Let's take the reeds down to two as well. Two. Yeah, two. Because um, I want gatherers. What are you gathering? Yeah, we've got none of that together. Um, this should be seeds. I'm just gonna put this because uh, this is coming. Seeds, right? That's coming. We're gonna. We want to start doing some farming, so we do need the seeds in there. Um, but I do think we can actually pause this group for now. Um, right, the reed gatherers are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Okay. Let's just have a look. Uh, okay, good. You're gathering reeds. Okay, fantastic. And um, then what we've got? We've got seeds for stone we've got quite a lot of guys on stone i'm thinking of actually shrinking this to five um that's the big that's the big stone gathering project we have going fishermen we've got six fishermen going because we're, we're suffering on it we, we got in these waves of food so occasionally there's lots of food and and then there's absolutely none um so yeah fishermen go come on are you a fisherman too or are you just going to gather something i don't know what we're doing here um, fiber gatherers, that's good. How are we doing on the fiber? Uh, we've got a lot of fiber, good. And then we've got the craftsmen. The craftsmen are going at it hell for leather, which is good. Uh, reed. Have we got the raw food gatherers? Yes. What are you having trouble with? Uh, beetroots and pulses, I think. Yes. Pulses and you can't get beets. That's fine. Why are we pocked in a bush? Oh, are you gathering reeds? You were a reed gatherer. Okay. All right, so, um... Yeah, the reed gatherer is going off quite quite far to get to the to get to the reeds, um, and we still have um, we still have this slowly slowly plugging away here. Um, you can start to see it slowly arising out the ground here. We're going to need a lot more stone for that one there, a lot more. So uh, let's go have a look at our current hero. Hero is our current. Where's hero? Is hero was that hero the one out there? Oh, there you go. Hero's got the new. Uh, the new head mask on. Hero, there he is. Hero is taking a walk. What's what was Hero doing? Hero is a food gatherer. So Hero is fetching us some food. Um, and actually, we need to pay a little bit more attention. No parents in the village. What? Okay, Sif's got a couple. Okay, Sif, Sif's got uh, Sif's got kids. That's good. Um, Nigel, seventy. There are a lot of people in here. Oh, Sira, forty-seven. This little kid here with the dreadlocks, guy, sixteen. Grown up, grown up, grown up now. Uh, ooh, look at this. We've got Neolithic. Uh, those are the guys with the Neolithic influence. So we do actually have now strong Neolithic influence. More and more Neolithic influence in the tribe here. Um, which is good because uh, look at him. Oh, he looks he looks quite different, doesn't he? The Neolithic guys. Uh, less like tribal, less of the face paint, and more of the like. Straight up, like Neolithic man, I guess. Still waiting in the, still waiting in the river fishing though. Those bone, those uh, like look at him compared to this guy here. Yeah, sorry, this guy's more more on the um, uh, Mesolithic side, and he's got the face paint and and the Viking chopped hair. Um, whereas this guy is more on the uh, is more on the uh, Neolithic side of things, and he's got more of a sort of you know Western side of uh, kind of look. I kind of like that. I didn't notice that. Where's our village again? I lost it. It's all the way out over here. Right. So this is expanding rapidly. Uh, or not expanding rapidly. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to get some of this architecture going here. Because 
no, not a work group. Here we go. Uh, we want to have a look at what we can build here now. Um, so we we really we do just need a little bit more Neolithic uh, influence here. We've got all the architecture requirements. We just need that little bit more Neolithic influence. I think for this one as well. Yeah. Yeah, the rest of this, we're missing out on the Neolithic influence here. And then we've got to figure out how to how to get animal husbandry, you know. So if we do the work group here, we create a herding group, right? Um, maybe we should try this. We get farming groups, but we don't have enough uh, we don't have enough agriculture yet. Aha. Uh -huh. So we could do I think we start herding before we start farming, right? So let's go have a look at our buildings here. We need to produce um, the, where is the, the, the storages? It was the, uh, here, it was the feeder and the hay feeder. What does this do? Is this a log? And this one here, woodworks. Uh, this structure to feed your grazing livestock. This one over here, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what the difference between these two are. So we're going to build both of them. We're gonna build both of them. Okay, where are we gonna put our let's put our herds out the back here, right? This feels like a good spot here for the herds. So we'll put the one over here, we'll put a feeder here. Like 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 that. Like that. Right. Good. And then we'll do one of these, these hay feeders over here. Right. And once those are up, um let's actually put these on uh on uh high priority because we'll do we'll do a time lapse now. We'll do a high priority time lapse of these guys getting built. And then we're going to see if we can uh, see if we can create a herder group and figure out how to domesticate some animals. So I'll see you in a few moments when we when we got these up and running. Hey, so it looks like we got a hay feeder up. Uh, I got to bring them bring the menu up here. So we got a hay feeder. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, we've got a hay feeder. It's got hay in it. And um, this one still needs to be built. Uh, ooh, we could put all kinds of food into this one. Okay, that one we we get to choose. So that one's hay. All right. Okay. Wait. Groups. Now we got to do a group. Now we got to do a herder group. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Group. Create a new work group. Uh, herding group. Right. Herders. What are we gonna herd? No tasks. Um. <laughs> Okay, uh, build, create, uh, assign, uh, assign livestock. How do we, uh, how do we, how do we herd things? How do we herd things? Um, build things. Okay, well, look, what we got to do is we got to, we got to assign these buildings to the herder group. That's for sure, right? So that's the first thing that we've done. So we've got two storage devices in the herder group. Fantastico. Um, no one working here. Now we got to do, okay, herders. Let's have a look. We'll look after a herd of livestock. We need to assign the animals to the herd using the assign tool. Where do, how do we do this? How do we, how do, what is it? Uh, disband or slaughter. Okay, now we got to figure out how do we, how do we herd, how do we herd animals? How do we, how do we get, how do we get livestock? Uh, how do we get livestock? Wait, book, book. Uh, no, that's the tutorial. Questions, like, no, 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 wait. Have we gone through everything here? Um, unrest, yes, we've got this policies, tribal leader, knowledge learning, farming group, whoa, 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 whoa. farming groups and farmland. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, temples and prayers, yes, yes, we know about the temples and prayers, tombs and burial, animal has been eager. Domestic animals will start coming with migrants. Okay, okay, so wait, so we need to actually... Um, we, we can't, we can't actually herd in groups. Okay, so we need to wait for them. We can't actually go out and sort of train them. Um, right end. Yes, okay. We finished the tutorial now. Uh, we kind of, kind of got there. Okay, so we got, we've got one person working here. Bruce said, but there's no animals. There's no animals in the, in the herding group at all. Um, so we need to wait for people to come with domestic animals. Maybe, maybe someone will pitch up with, with, with a cow. Maybe someone will come and join the tribe with a cow. No one's come to join the tribe for a while, actually. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. Um, the way no one's no, no one's come to do that. Um, we might have to rectify that at some point. How are we doing out here, guys? Let's go have a look at the construction. Uh, looks like there's a couple of people slaving away here in the in the rain. Um, they're coming along. 
They're coming along, slowly but surely. What are we doing over here? Are we halfway? Oh, we're halfway on that one. More than halfway on this one. If we press K, we'll be able to see. Right, there you go. So we've got 10 of them. <laughs> we just... All the stone we produce uh, just sort of flies into there. Um, which is fine. We, we're, actually, we're actually surviving. Um, we're actually slowly surviving. So I actually think that uh, this is going to be a bit of a short episode... Uh, and I'm gonna bring up my bring up my face all nice and big for you guys. So this is a short episode um, I just wanted to lay the groundwork here for what we were doing and I'm actually gonna let this episode play And um, we're gonna try and let the game run um, Just bring up the UI quickly. So we have done 10 years um, We have survived 10 years so pretty much a 10 year old tribe and um, I'm gonna let it run in between the next episode and next so we can try and get that 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 uh, temple up basically and maybe some people will arrive uh, in the tribe and bring some more knowledge with them that would be that would be really good um i might uh, slip in a couple of uh, time lapses of that playthrough happening um but not really and uh, let's go look at the world map quickly because that's actually uh, that's the other thing the ocean seems to be coming ever closer but i think we may have we may have actually moved far enough away from the ocean uh, at this stage, which is good. I don't think we're going to be threatened um, much more. Uh, so as always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Really does look lovely here in the rain, doesn't it, with those fireplaces. And I will see you all for the next episode. Hopefully we will have a grand stone circle er erected and maybe a couple more um, Atlantic uh, Mithiolithic uh, influences in the tribe. And we can start building some round huts and other things. Until then, look after yourselves. I am The Beard, signing out.